Hi, today's dreamer said she's in her mom's bedroom in her childhood home and she's on the phone with her grandmother who she hasn't seen in a month. She's in the hospital and they can't speak over the phone because her grandmother is deaf and anyway, because of the virus, of course. In the dream, she says she looked up and saw her late grandfather standing at the door. He's old, but he's not sick and he's got a huge smile on his face. And the dreamer says, even though I know he's not here anymore, I'm so excited to see him that I'm saying to my grandmother that I have to get off the phone, like right away, that something very big is happening here. I have to go. I'm just gonna backdrop the situation so you understand what was going, what's going on in the dreamer's life that triggered this particular dream. And it's because her boyfriend contracted the virus before everything was shut down. And so he was already being quarantined and now everybody has to be quarantined. And so the overlap left her home alone without her boyfriend with her. And this is that back and forth about staying off you know, getting off the phone with the grandmother, she's torn. There's that up and down and that's what's going on. Am I gonna break the rules and uh, have my boyfriend come back or are we gonna stay apart and am I gonna go through this alone? So that's the question that the dreamer is discussing with herself. And now I'm gonna tell you how to uncover a solution when it comes in the form of a metaphor. Stay there. If you watch my dream tidbit, I think it's number five, yeah, it's number five. All the parts of the dream represent different parts of you. And I'll give you the link when I'm done with this. Um, so that's what you wanna do sometimes. You wanna look at the people in the dream because all the different parts of the dream represent different parts of you. And in order for you to break down what that means, um, you ask yourself very quickly, what comes to mind when you think about that person, place, or thing? And so that's what I did. I asked, what are your associations to the grandfather? And about her grandfather, she said, nothing overwhelmed him. He was always calm and steady. Nothing was too big. In fact, she said, he had a wave of calm that would wash over the family. That's what kind of personality he was. And conversely, her grandmother is a style of personality that likes to be in the mix with lots of people around. She was, a, she is a very family oriented person and uh, always wanted the family to get along and the dinners and the connect the physical connect with people. So you see the dreamer and the grandfather's even actually running towards her in the dream. I think I forgot to say that. So she, he, she's embracing that part of her personality that knows how to remain calm during this particular period of time in her life, which is amazing advice. So you see that she says, I had to let go of her earlier. That's the language that the dreamer is using to say that she's saying goodbye for the moment to the aspect of her own personality that needs to connect with people like the grandmother. So that's what it looks like when you're finding a solution to a dream. I hope that helps and you'll see tomorrow, I'm gonna to give you an overview of those uh, four dreamers that we saw, just to get an overview of how each of us in our own way is dealing with this virus, oh my God. Try and have a nice day.